everyone, it's Jessica, and today I am still in Paris on my honeymoon with Tyler, who's sitting over there, so if you're like clicking keys, it's because he's editing a video, I think, right now. Um, but I went to Sephora here in Paris on Rue de Rivoli. Mm -hmm. That's the American nice way to say it, but I can't say it the French way because I sound ridiculous. Um, so we went to that Sephora, and it's really big, and if you saw vlog number, I think, two? Is that right? Three? Yeah. I don't know. One of the vlogs on his channel where I go in there, it is humongous, humongous. So you, if you've seen that, you already know, you well, you have a good idea of what I got. Anyway, but I wanted to share it with you guys because I know a lot of you guys are interested. I have never been to a Sephora out of the country, so I didn't really know. I'd heard that it's more expensive for some things and a lot of drugstore brands are more expensive. And they sold L'Oreal at the Sephora, but it was like, $20 and up, or 20 euro and up. It was very expensive, so it's just kind of interesting. Um, you know, there are certain areas where I feel very lucky in America that are cheaper, but then there are other things that are cheaper here. You know, it's kind of, the grass is always greener. So let's go ahead and get into it, because I got a lot of these. So the first things we knew, both Tyler and I knew we were gonna get there, were um, a perfume and a cologne, because we, I don't know, we're kind of weird, and we like to get a certain scent to remind us of certain trips. And, you know, like one that we did in the past, he bought me Miss Dior as a Christmas gift when we were at Disney World in, I think last year, last Christmas. Um, and so now every time we both smell it, we think of that. So it's just got happy memories tied to it. So we wanted some honeymoon Parisian scent memories. So we both picked one out. I picked out La Vie Belle, which is by Lancome, which of course is a Parisian brand, which I like. Of course, it's widely available in the US as well, but this is one I got with my scent bird that I mentioned last month in my favorites that I loved. It was a scent that they matched me with and you guys, it is the most amazing scent. It's really simple packaging, but it's just, it's sweet but sophisticated and it's got these almost like spicy sweet, but not too spicy and not too sweet. It's like, it's perfect. I don't know how else to describe it and it's one of those scents that the second I smelled it, I was like, oh my gosh. And Tyler's the same, he loves the smell. So I was very excited to get that. And then he picked out Blue de Chanel, which of course, again, is a Parisian brand. And this, this is obvious for him, duh. It smells unbelievable. It's like, oh, it's gonna make me sneeze. I keep doing that to myself. It's so masculine. He's looking this way. He's like, get off that. It's mine. You're so handsome. This is just such a masculine scent. And uh, he sprayed it on earlier when we were walking around and there was like, it was kind of, you know, warmer out and there's a parade going on and we were bustling through crowds and, and I could still smell it on him after a few hours of wearing it. It was just wafting and I'm like, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. So if you're looking for something to get, I mean, this is an expensive cologne or actually technically it's an eau de parfum, but it is so, Oh my gosh, it's the best cologne I've ever smelled my whole life. My whole life. Okay, so next up, now we're getting into all the makeup. Oh. First thing, we'll talk about what's on my lips. The, keep in mind, this is my honeymoon, and this is you know a trip we've been so excited for, we've been saving up for, and we knew that with our wedding, we wanted to spend more money on the honeymoon versus the wedding reception, because this is something that lasts longer than a day, and these are memories. And of course, the wedding was memorable too, but that's just the way we decided to do it. So I've been saving up to buy and splurge while I'm here, because I'm so excited to be here. One thing I picked up was the Marc Jacobs Lamarck Lip Cream, and it's in the shade O Miley, and that's what I'm wearing today. You guys, this is the most perfect red I've ever owned. These are so unbelievably creamy and they just stay on. I put this on earlier and we had, we drank water, we had some bread and cheese and it stays on, like it doesn't go anywhere. And he's even kissed me a couple times and there's not, there's still a little bit of transfer but not as much as most red lipsticks have. I wish I had, not this shade, but a sh um, something in this line of lipstick for my wedding because this is very long lasting and the one I wore was not. Um, but I will do a video on that, so everybody calm down. Um, I love this. It's expensive, but it's worth the splurge. And I think like next Christmas, I might ask for, because I don't know that I would splurge on another one, maybe. I don't know. I want to get a more like everyday color, but I love this. And the red I mentioned in my other video that I really liked was a MAC one, but it was their old matte line, and they're so dry. And it was, it was the same shade of red, and I really like it, but... Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I can wear it too much longer. It's too, it's too dry. Also, I burned my arm a long time ago. 
curling iron. I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Something that's been in my Sephora wish list for a thousand years and I have I keep going back and forth and I never end up buying it, but now here I am like two years later and I'm finally buying it. It's the Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow and it's in the shade RSVP and I love the packaging of the actual thing. Anyway, um, it just looks like a little cupcake or whatever you want to call it, but it's this beautiful iridescent, almost light pink with like a little bit of gold, a little bit of champagne. It's kind of got it all. But I love this on my lid, and this is one of those colors that you can wear just on your lid and nothing else, and you look so put together, and it doesn't budge throughout the day. I haven't really found, like it reminds me in a way of MAC um, Vintage Selection, which I actually brought with me because I love that color, but this is even prettier. It's more iridescent, more obvious. I don't, it's a little more opaque, I guess. So, so far, really everything I bought is stuff that's totally available in America. And I'm doing a, I have a separate kind of like drugstore brand haul of stuff from here that I can't get in America. But with this stuff, Sephora, it's kind of across the board that most of it is stuff you can get anywhere. So I just kind of use this as an opportunity to just splurge on myself. So a lot of this is available wherever you are. This is not, however, this is the Sleek Eye Divine palette. It's an eyeshadow palette. And this was 12 or 13 euros and did I say it's the the name of the palace oh so special I think I already said that but these are such high quality palettes for as cheap as they are and I've always heard that I can't get it open um, but oops, they really are it comes with 12 different shades and they're just beautiful I've been using this one here they actually have names this one's called organza it's that one there. It's like a shimmery pink. It kind of reminds me of that RSVP. That'd be pretty layered. I'm wearing it on my lid today. Um, and I'm wearing this darker brown right there um, on my lower lash line and kind of in my outer corner. I love this so much. And I that was the only palette I found there from Sleek. They had a contouring like little trio kit thing, but it was way too dark. And I was like, I'm not gonna spend the money if I know I'm not gonna wear it. So, but I was so excited to find this there and I'm going to London in December and so I'm excited to um, buy some more sleek stuff because I know they sell it there. All right, so I got two NARS products. Again, these are all like wish list items that I've been like wanting for so long that I never pull the trigger. This is the NARS bronzing powder in Laguna. Everybody that loves NARS loves this product. It's like their classic bronzer that everyone in the world has that's like obsessed with makeup the way that we all are. And it's just this really pretty, you know, bronzer, but it's got this tint to it that looks so natural. And I remember for the longest time, I would say, I'm not gonna get it because I don't think it'll look natural on my skin, but it really does. And it's got a little bit of shimmer, but not really. It's more satin than anything. Actually, maybe it doesn't have shimmer. No, it does, but it's more of a satin finish and you just look so, put together when you wear it, but you don't, but it doesn't look fake. I'm sure if you put way too much on, of course it would, but I love this stuff. So I'm really excited that I finally did it. The other NARS product that I got is a blush. And of course their names are ridiculous. This is in the shade Deep Throat. And it's this gorgeous, I would call it pink, but it does kind of lean a little bit peach colored blush. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but not really. Again, this is more of like a satin blush, and I love it. It's so natural, and it's like finally a blush that is, I feel like this is meant for lighter skin tones like mine. I love it, I'm so excited to give it some more love. Now, all of these, I bought these like two days ago when I'm filming this, so I haven't really, I, I think I've tried everything out at least once, some of it twice. So keep in mind that, you know, I've only tried it a couple times, so I really don't know exactly how I feel about all of these. So one that I was really, really, really excited about is the Naked 2 palette. I have the Naked 1, the Naked, I'm sorry, Naked Basics 2. I have the original Naked Basics palette, and I found that it's just way too many light colors and like nothing in between. There's one color in between that's like a medium, kind of like lid color, or not lid, um, crease color. But beyond that, there's like nothing. And I'm like, what? And so when the Naked 2 Basics came out, I was like, that looks perfect. You guys, I cannot stop wearing this. I'm wearing it today. I told you I was wearing a few sleek shadows, but the rest of it is all this. So I'm wearing Frisk and Cover kind of mixed in my crease 
and then I'm wearing skimp right here um, to blend it all together and like on my brow bone. Oh my gosh, this is so much better than the first one. It's crazy. If you found that that's like way too light and then you're like, well, I don't want to get this because I don't want the same thing. This blows that one out of the water. It blows it out of the water like crazy. Like this should have been their original. It is so amazing. And I love that there's like cooler tones and warmer tones. It's so perfect. And I love using Undone, which is like this kind of black, but it's almost like brownish black. I love using that also on my lower lash line in the outer corner, like the outer V. Oh my gosh. So the nail polish I'm wearing, I also got a Sephora. This is an OPI polish in Lucky Lucky Lavender. And I just think it is so, so, so pretty. It's just like this light purplish pink lavender. I mean, and I was, I had posted this on Instagram and I think my Facebook and Twitter, I think I posted on all of them. And I just said, it, it makes me think of like French lavender, like in a country home in France. It just makes me think of that. So now I'll always tie this color and this nail polish to this trip too. That's a good tip. If you are traveling, like if you're just wanting to buy a couple things, you're not wanting to buy, you know, I bought a lot of things because I planned for it. But, you know, if you know you don't have a lot of money to spend, you just want to buy a couple things to remember your trip, instead of, you know, we're probably still going to get like a souvenir magnet and things like that that we usually get when we travel. But, you know, you can get a perfume or you can get a nail polish or a lipstick, something that just will always remind you of that trip. Love it. Okay, I also got, because I forgot to pack one, a little pencil sharpener. This is just one from Sephora um, because I didn't bring one and I had like lip liner that I was wearing and um, an eyeliner that I brought and I'm like, I literally can't use these here in a day or two when they're too dull to use. So I was excited to get one of those. And then I also got an eyelash curler because I brought mine from Tarte and it's getting really old anyway. So I was, I knew I was going to have to replace it soon, but the, when I packed it, the actual little um, squishy thing in it had fallen out and it's nowhere to be found. So I was like, you literally can't use it. Like if you try, it's comical, you, it's not usable. So I found this at Sephora. It was kind of pricey for what it was, but I've heard good things about the Sephora eyelash curler. So I bought it, it comes in a little box. It also comes like on the bottom of it with an extra set or two. Yeah, an extra two of the little things, which is nice. The last two things I got are um, nail things. So I needed for my nails, these are of course fake. These are like acrylic nails for my wedding. Um, but I had like a light white color. Whoa, the sun just went away. Everything's different. Anyway, um, I needed nail polish remover pads. And I'm so mad at myself because I had these to pack up and then in the shuffle of the wedding and everything, I didn't pack them. Um, but it's just, plain old, I don't even see Mavala, I guess is the brand, but these don't have acetone in it and they're kind of more like oil based and it's actually really nice. It feels very moisturizing. It takes a few more, you know, swipes on your nail to get it off, but they're great for travel. I think I have to assume they're healthier for your nails. I don't really know. Um, and it, it works and they actually smell really nice too. And the last thing I got is this glass nail file from Sephora. And I have one of these from OPI and it really is amazing it really is amazing it, it doesn't hold all other nail files don't hold a candle to these glass files so and what's nice about them is they never really you never really wear them out you can just run them under water and they're literally as good as new so i have that one from opi but it's the only one i have and i've been wanting one to keep in my purse as well so i bought an extra one from sephora for that case so yay so those are all of the things that i bought from sephora here in france um, I can't promise, we're still here for another day or two, at least when I'm filming this. Can't promise that I won't buy more. But um, like I said, I do have a drugstore makeup haul, which I might film right now as well while I'm at it, um, of some things from like bourgeois and things that you really can't get in the US that I'm so excited to find here. Um, I've asked you guys on my Instagram and you guys were like, you told me some amazing things and I got some of the things you mentioned, so I'm really excited to try them out. Anyway, if you enjoyed, please subscribe and definitely check out all of our vlogs over on Tyler's channel. I can link them below and I'll catch you guys in my next video.